Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes we have two radicals that we're supposed to add or subtract. They don't look like they're ra like radicals, but we can actually make them into like radicals. So here we have some examples. We have the, the square root of x cubed plus the square root of x. At first sight, you would say, well, I don't think I can add those because, well, they do have the same index, but they don't have the same radicand. But notice that we can change the one on the left. That one can be written as follows. We can write this as the square root of x squared times x plus the square root of x. And then, of course, we can write this as follows. We can write this as the square root of x squared times the square root of x. We don't have to do that, but it makes it easier to see what we can do next, plus the square root of x. And then you can see that the square root of x squared is simply x. So this can be written as x times the square root of x plus the square root of x. And now you can see that we can actually add them because we have the radicand being the same and we have the index being the same. Here we have x of them, there we have one of them. So this can be written as x plus 1 times the square root of x. Essentially, we factored out the square root of x and we're left with an x and a 1. And so that's essentially what we have. We can also say we have x of the square root of x plus 1 of them. When we add them together, it's x plus 1 times the square root of x. Either way, you get the same result. Here, it's the same thing. We can do the following. We can say, OK, at first sight, we do have the indexes being the same, but the radicand looks different. But perhaps we can simplify it and make them look the same. So the first thing we can do here is notice that we have b to the fifth, which means this can be written as the cube root of a b cubed times b squared. And notice, if I have the power the same as the root, I can factor that out, or at least pull that out. And then over here, I have plus the cube root of, I can do the same with the a, I have a cubed times a to the first power, and b cubed times b to the second power. Of course, these are all multiplied together. But now notice, we could write it like this, or we can simply pull them out. We have the cube root of b cubed. That simply comes out. So this is equal to b times the cube root of a b squared. And here, I can pull out an a, and I could pull out a b. So I have a times b times the cube root of a b squared. And now notice, if I put parentheses around it, just to make it a little bit easier to see, both the index and the radicands are now the same, so I can add the two together. Here I have b of them, and here I have a times b of them, or I can say that this is b plus a times b times the cube root of a b squared. Essentially, I factored out a cube root of a b squared. I can also factor out a b here, so I can write this as b, times 1 plus a times the cube root of a b squared. But essentially, you can see that if you change the radicand, it then makes it possible to add or subtract if you can then make them look the same. And that is how it's done.